What is this? What do you mean by that? I didn't understand your question. Did you just say, tell me it's private property? It's always a good try. Yeah. Just, just, just catching a little news. Why don't you tell me it's private property? Hello.
I'm only following you because I didn't understand your question and I wanted clarification and I'd like to capture what you're telling whoever you've called. Sometimes people lie. Escaped. There, safety. Professional different in diving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drive by. I'm not in it. This is why I need a circular polarizer, or just a polarizer. Carry around like a pizza box or something, you know? For the shade to like cover? No, no for like the, for the camera, that way it's inconspicuous. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I want it to be seen. I thought you meant to like, cause it would work actually to throw a shadow on the window so you can yeah, shoot yeah, through it. Yeah. That's what I was just, I was just saying, I need a polarizer so that to take that glare off. So you can actually shoot through the window. So, I, yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, it, it reduces the glare at least, because when uh, when light reflects off of something, it gets polarized. So the the filter will just take that that polarized light right out of the shot. Yeah, yeah. And and the so all that all that reflection you see in the window is light bouncing off that's polarized. And so when the polarizer gets rid of that, you see through the window. Yep. What are you, what are you shooting for? Uh, for to, to see what happens, to see if they respect the public's right to document this process, you know, and to document the process. It's, it's two, two purposes. That's really good you're doing that. Um, if you're interested in doing something else that, I mean, it's still part of the city, um, it's like hospitals. Uh-huh. Of the Where at? Uh, at Northwest Hospital. Yeah. The problem with hospitals is that they're private. So they, they really shouldn't be allowed to, to yeah. trespass people yeah. who are just there filming and documenting yeah. what's going on, but they can. They don't, they don't need a reason. They can just tell you to leave. And so you can't, can't stand on much. But I mean, I witnessed some serious, some serious thing. I've yet to talk to a lawyer. Oh. And uh, anybody else, really. I've tried to reach out to uh, people head up in the staff at, at the hospital, right. different hospitals, uh, Pima Community College. My ex girlfriend is a registered nurse, and I've talked to her about stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have a lot of resources to follow. A, a story like that yeah. that would take probably lawyers stuff like there it, since it's a private entity the freedom of information act doesn't apply so i couldn't just request right. records like you can here because it's a state operation and that's that's pretty much the extent of my activity is actually being on the scene doing the filming showing the world what happens yeah. you know showing that there's a security guard who's freaked out because I'm videotaping and, and, and can't even verbalize that in the first, in the first encounter. He's just like, why are you, do, is there a reason you're doing this? That's a pretty vague question. Like,
Yeah. I took her there. She was like stabilizing because I had, I was giving her like, uh, like natural homeopathic stuff like, uh, like carrot ginger soups. And, good, know, good. Juices. Only does ten minutes at a time on the high def. <laughs> so yeah, man. I, I mean, the first day she was there, it was it was hard. I mean, I don't know if I'm even allowed to like, say. Well, if you're going to pursue like the, well, you've, as, as far as like privileged health information or whatever, that doesn't matter because I'm not a medical yeah. entity or insurer yeah, yeah. or anything. That's, those are the people who can't share that information with each other. But, uh, but if you are thinking of a lawsuit or something, I would probably keep it somewhat quiet just because then, I mean, if they, if they happen, if you say something and they happen to see it, then they know and you you really when someone when someone does you wrong and you have to sue them to make it right you don't want them to know anything more than they absolutely are required about, to to get to know yeah we're talking about city of tucson and like and like they're part of who you know so no it's the line that's already a touchy subject right there as it is mm -hmm. and then it's just, it goes on and on and on, I'll tell you. Unless you're, if you're here for unemployment, they're taking people right in. But if it's food stamps, they're, they're leaving you in the line. <laughs> Ask the security guy, they're, they're an authority. They know what's, what's going on. It's like we've adopted. There'll be grace here. I've seen that in a lot of places. Here. Adopted what? Like the security, security guards will adopt all these multiple roles that they don't usually have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mission creep, big time. <laughs> yeah. Roles and authority that they don't, they don't have. Uh, yeah. Investigating things that they don't even understand. Yeah. Happens a lot. I, I, I have a problem with the, or a lot of questions about the, the, the basic idea of having a state agency that contracts private security. So, so they're here working for their employer, but they're acting as an agent of the state. Yeah. So they don't actually, and most of them, I probably like the great majority of them don't realize the, the danger that that puts them in, the vulnerability that that leaves yeah. on them. Because yeah. if they do a civil rights violation, they're not covered under the doctrine of sovereign immunity the way an actual employee of the, the county or the city or the state is. Yeah, because they're, they're private, but they're still acting on behalf of the state. So the state yeah. wins. You know, they get they get to have the thing happen that they want to happen and, and they're less. exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> so it's 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 doesn't seem like much until you look into it a little bit to see these private security guards on all the yeah, public and all the public places. And then, yeah, I mean, the security at this hospital uh, up until the fourth day she was in there. Um, there was there was a security guard uh -huh. sometimes around, you know. Sure. But he wouldn't get out of his truck. And he's just searching the property, you know. Yeah. And I had witnesses because I I was sleeping in the parking lot overnight, you know, and I worked in the daytime doing visitor doing visiting hours. Right from the day go, it was like being in a nightmare that can't wake up to. Everything about that place, um, the thermometer the that they're checking every single person's temperature with. Uh huh. First of all, they're not even sanitizing it. Right. And they're touching everybody's forehead with it. There we go. Those are were they the those kind you're not supposed to touch the forehead, right? Exactly. Like. <laughs> On the third day she was in there, they started to have a, a 
staph infection. Oh, well. Uh, scare. It was oh, like, man. it was already in the works. Yeah. And I, I sat in the car watching the, touch the nurses, doctors, regular people that are coming in to visit people. They're touching their foreheads with it and then they just throw it there on the desk. No. On the desk. Wow, they didn't even have like a, a sanitizing holder for it, like a little holster with some alcohol in the end of it. That's all you'd need. And it, it really didn't click until uh, the third day when I went to go in and they were like, this time they touched my forehead. And I didn't know about the, the staff scare until... You got staff? Well... I had an outbreak right here and I just uh, like covered like within a matter oh, of minutes. Man. Just Yeah, I got you can see those. Well, I have a I have idiopathic guttate hypomelanosis. Yeah. But independent of that, there's a couple little divots in my leg. I forget exactly where they're at. Because they're hard to tell from the little white spots. But uh but I got staff in Hawaii and uh no, no, no kidding. And as soon as I realized I had it, I sat with, uh, sat next to the stove doing hot ginger compresses, alternating with cold, with ice yeah. for like a day straight. And, uh, and that knocked it out. Well, but ginger and garlic worse. actually. Huh? At least it didn't get worse. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just kind of like wild staff, you know, like I, I got it from someone, I got it from like hanging out closely with someone who had it. And, and that's all, you know, in the hospital though, like that stuff is usually resistant to oh, yeah. the disinfectants and stuff. Yeah. And that's, that's the nasty stuff. I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg. And it just, it gets so dark and twisted from there. And this is like just over two months ago. So like, I might seem like I'm composed and you know, I'm somewhat there, but just a couple days ago, I wasn't, I, wasn't even able to work. I still haven't been really able to work. Right, right. Of all this. And I still don't even know if my wife is alive or dead. No kidding. Why they won't release information? Wow. I've been trying to find somebody that will be able to help me with it. The first day that she was there, she told me that um, she was touched by one of the nurses that was a male. Pretty sure if it's a female patient, they're gonna get female nurses. Usually, that's right. what happens. So then it, it just it gets so much worse. The first two days, I was really staying with her and staying on top of her, but it just seemed to me every day that I went in there, like, like nobody, I've done anything to her or like with her. They put an IV in her, but still, you know, she's not getting any fluids through here. You know, she's all dry. Been in there three days already. Nobody's given her any water or food. Like they hadn't bathed her whatsoever. Like wow. even washed, like wiped her hands with an alcohol wipe to do the pick one. You know? Oh. And I'll tell you, it looked like a drunk person did it, and they, they messed it up so many times. I grabbed her hand and I showed all the nurses. I was like, look at this. This is not okay. This right. is not okay. And I, I flipped out. I wasn't. Well, sure. I wasn't too irate or anything. I wasn't threatening people. But. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think it's appropriate to be upset when someone's mistreating. The, the your loved one that they're supposed to be caring for. Yeah. I mean, she she was up to the point where she wasn't able to like walk on her own. So I was every day, all day long, I was I was carrying her to the bathroom and just like accumulating all this stuff and like having to take care of her more and more until that day that I went and I saw all this happening and she's like, what it seemed like to me is they're just drugging her up to keep her, you know, quiet and like calm 
right and giving her all kinds of vitamins and stuff to help her blood produce and then they're just milking her for the blood what and it, to the point where i think it even changed her blood type i don't even know if that's possible oh i don't think so i, I mean i i'm i'm not not sure but i don't know i don't I, know if that's possible but <laughs> Lots of things are possible that just haven't been clearly documented, but <laughs> it's, if, if that did happen, that's, an in, that's a very intense thing. <laughs> that's not, I mean, I read the, what they did, like everything that they documented, and I had to fight for that to the pump. Stuff that is said in there was like, that's all they did, is they, drug, they cut the drug up, and giving her vitamins and stuff, keep producing blood, and then they're just taking it from her. Wow. And after that, I don't know what happened. She could have died right after I walked away, because that's, I mean, honestly, that's how it looked. That does sound like a nightmare. I'm still living with it. I'm just, yeah. the past few days I've just been able to get a hold of myself. I drove to Phoenix. Uh, I guess she had gotten transferred up to Phoenix at some point within the past two months. Oh. And I'm like, I'm trying to relate what's going on with me to the hospital. Like, all, at the beginning of this, this is when all the, all the stuff about mental awareness or mental health awareness stuff started happening on TV. Oh, because um, there was like a month, like mental health awareness month, I think. I think that's what we're going through right now. Um, when she was at the house, the TV is always on. So I hear the commercials that are going on. I didn't hear anything about these, these commercials and it's after that day when I blew up and I said you know this is this is serious like where do I file a complaint like, this is this is some serious medical negligence going on here after that day no after that day um, non-stop there was commercials about uh, how much they're making sure that the hospital is clean and their staff is on top of things and all this stuff it was the biggest slap in the face right the biggest slap in the face went home to get my mom because she had signed a power of attorney as i'm waiting for her to get ready i get a phone call from a sheriff Sheriff. Sheriff. Uh, tells me that I was threatening people and the security guard told me to leave three times. Uh, the security guard never left his truck. Right. Well, I don't know if you saw me following the security guard because they will lie. Yeah, they will straight up lie. I, 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 that was a surprise for me to learn over the past year, like watching a lot of the, this kind of video where people go and film in public places and the security guards make stuff up. They do. Just like that. They have the power in their hands to do that. Um, whether they do the right thing, it doesn't always happen. Right. Well, whether they even know what the right thing is, like this guy who told the other security guard to tell me that it's private property which was probably true to some extent when I'm out there, but it's a shared parking lot. If I'm a customer of any of these businesses, I'm, yeah. I'm legally allowed to be in the parking lot. Here's your, here's your friends right here. Oh, okay. That's gonna get interesting. I suppose. take the complaint first. He did not ask me to leave. Mm -hmm. 
I can hear you. That guy just straight lied. I asked you, sir, please to leave the property. Okay. Which property are you referring to? I'm uh, referring to Larson and Baker. This is his property. Okay. So I'm 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 standing outside of the Department of Economic Security office, which is a state office. So this is this is not private property. When I say I mean it's private property, but it's public access. Uh, okay. So I, I understand that you believe you have that right, or that you have that authority. What I'm saying is that I'm here documenting public officials in the course of their duties and the scene that's happening at the state. Department of Economic Security office. So I'm I'm in a public access area. He has the right to ask you to leave. Uh, no, he doesn't. I don't, no. I mean, he can ask me to leave, sure. I need to see an ID. Look at your own. I'm Cobor, but I need to you for a This man is asking you to leave. I understand that. Do you understand my Are response? You refusing? Are Do you refusing? You... Are you refusing? Are you refusing? Do you understand my response? Are you refusing? I am yes not no. refusing. Then leave. Do you understand then my... Then leave. You leave. You're going to be arrested. Unless Am I? You be... For what? For trespassing. Really? Yeah. On, on public property? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why don't you take that mask off? Hold on, partner. Hold on. Let's... Hey, you do not touch me. He's like, he wants to talk to you. I would like you to let go of me. You put your hands on the wall. Uh, so you're either going to you're either gonna let go of me no. or you're going to arrest me right yes, now I for am. trespassing. Yes, I am. Yes. Actually, that's. I want you to call your supervisor. Put your, I'll put wait your right hands here. behind I'll your wait back. No. Right here. Put your hands behind you, your back. No. Put Call your, your supervisor. I'm only going to ask you. I am no threat. I am not resisting. Yes, you are. I have, you're passive resisting. I'm telling you, unless you leave, you're under arrest. I, and I'm telling you that that's not lawful. I'm telling you, it is. That's why I'm asking you to call your supervisor. He's on his way. Good. Then so let's now, clarify that. No. So I'm now you put your hands behind your back. I do not believe that that would be necessary. I, sir. Yes, I do. Uh, I'm, I'm giving you an order to put your hand. Now, unless you want to be sure arrested so. for resisting arrest, I suggest you comply. You can't arrest someone for resisting arrest. Yes, I can. I'm telling you. I mean, you can. I'm but telling it's not, you, you're under arrest. Legal. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. I'm telling you that that's not lawful. You're under arrest. I am not lawfully under arrest. Yes, you are. You're mistaken. No, I'm not. Yes, you. No, okay. I'm not. So this is why we no, want the supervisor. I'm no, I'm not. Yes. No. You are. No, I'm not. Okay. So how do we resolve this? I, I'll take you to Pima County Jail. Yeah, that's how we resolve it. Pima County, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we find out what. Well, then I suggest you put your hands behind your back. I kind of don't want to, because so I'm not sure so what's... So you're refusing? I'm not sure what's going to happen you're, if I put my hands behind my back. You're, you're already stepped over like several lines. But you're going to be detained. That's what's going to happen. Okay, so I can be detained? Yeah, so put your what? hands behind your back for trespassing. Okay, so is the Department of Economic Security a public office? This young man asked you to leave. You're refusing. Um, you're kind of grabbing me you're sort of refusing. hard there. That sort of hurts. You're refusing. That sort of hurts. You're refusing. I don't think I want to do that. You're refusing. Really? I don't think I want to do that, sir. I don't trust you. Two Adam four four. Start me another unit. That's fine. I will wait here calmly. No, you're going to be in handcuffs. I will wait here calmly. You're going to be in handcuffs. I will wait here calmly. Handcuffs. Calmly. There's a two four out. You're under arrest. I understand. So put your hands behind your back. I understand that you feel that I'm under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. 
Yeah. I will follow all of your lawful orders. Then put your hands behind your I back. I am not resisting a lawful arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Yes. No. I really wish you would take that mask off. Take put yours on off. a different one. Put yours on. Take yours off. Why? You don't like Paisley? Fix it. There'll be a whole yeah. bunch of us here in a minute. That's better. I knew you wanted handcuffs. Because my odds are better that way. And you're way. going in handcuffs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. So as long as have... it's not you. Oh, it's going to be me. Well, all right. I guess I don't have any stuff about that. No, you don't. Because you're under arrest. Okay. So put your hands behind your back. How long is it going to take the supervisor to get here? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. No, sir. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. You're refusing. We've gone over this. You're refusing to comply. You're refusing to comply. I think I've already made my my point clear. This is public property. This is public access. This is part of the Department of Economic Security. Yeah, the renting the renting doesn't matter. A public agency that put, rents private property is still public access. Put your hands behind your back. I'm simply put your hands I'm simply you saying put your hands behind your back. I'm simply saying that this is not a lawful arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Do hey, hey, you, no, no, with the camera. Do you want to us to do this the hard way, or do you want to put your hands? Okay, your so back? this is what I get. Are you at the supervisor? Point, yes, I am. At this what's point, your What's your under, name and badge number, sir? My name is Vipon, and my badge number is three nine seven. Okay, please do not shut off the camera, and actually don't take it. You just if you it. let go of Put it, I won't break it. I need your supervisor. Put your your hand. supervisor. Your supervisor. Um, when I take this camera, I'm going to hand it to you. Copy? I need okay. your okay. supervisor, Sergeant right. Vipon. Uh, I need I your supervisor. No, your supervisor. Take the camera and point it at me. Point it at me. Making sure it points at us. Point it at us. That's my uh, added pad there. Well, you can take it out of the handcuffs and I take it off. You already showed it to me, but uh, yeah, I won't cooperate with unlawful.
Yeah, that's not, we don't understand.
Bye.